All right, guys, day two, opening up the door to the bay. Have, <laughs> have heat there. Yeah. Have John here. And uh, we're going to try to set up a little space here so we can have the flights go back there and hit some balls out there and see what we're at. Did a little bit of warm up with the uh, power tools and the wiggly sticks. Yeah. The tsunami, tsunami bar, bar sticks. Bar, yeah. yeah. And let's see where we're at. All right, guys, so we did our warm up with the. The tools and now now this is the speed ball with the uh, long drive tail double tails double tails wow. start off think a lot of me to think i can handle double tails. double tails so only trying to not don't like the per first one here's my big thing yeah. with, with all devices all exercises that you ever do in life especially my stuff work your way up okay. because you you first of all this lets you it lets your body know what's going about to happen and it starts to create this feel for your body of okay this is what i need to generate so, you know, this first one, let's just do 80%. Ooh. Nice. One thirty-two. Okay, good. Yeah, it's not. All right, try your IAP on this one. Okay. Let me just do that for fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's for a visual. Yeah. Like Dr. Owen was talking about. <laughs> Like one inch below my belly button here. Yep. So I'm gonna go here. Yep. One thirty-one. Okay. Oh, well, didn't hurt me anyway. Didn't. Hurt, yeah. Well, it's not gonna hurt you. If anything, it's gonna protect you more than okay. more. You know, it's definitely gonna protect you. Your tempo has really improved. Yeah, I think my my transition could be slightly smoother. Yeah. But Remember though, you don't make a smooth transition with a slower backswing. Oh, right? Okay, okay, gotcha. Does that make sense? Yep. Good transition. Yeah, it was 133. Okay, good. Better. That's excellent. Considering it's 50 degrees, or 45 degrees out, well, we did get you warmed up though. That was key, yeah, right? It was, yeah, in the warm room. Here we go. Same thing. Do you know what you can do to start this? Yeah. Give yourself a pulse of at, at address. Give yourself some IEP at address. Uh -huh. Then kind of uh, let it go, and then pop it. Obviously, at the at the transition. <coughs> yeah. One forty. Whoa. Take a picture of that. That one. is fantastic. All right, let's hit a driver. Yeah, let's yeah. Get the driver out for sure. Dude, <coughs> it was like tense, but then relaxed. That's gonna transfer one seventy. Yeah. Let's see it. Maybe. I'll do that same alignment, just right down the flags. Yeah, we'll probably flip flop now. I guess let's just do that now. Yeah, yeah. Not doing that anyway. Let's get a ball teed up. I like your that, yeah. that theory. One interesting comment that you made that re really resonated with me is this half life you have of a train of the training effect. Yeah, right. And I love this idea. So you're going to hit your speed ball and then go right to a driver, mm -hmm. so that the training effect is there. Maybe because I'm not worried about like then making contact. I actually heard a whoosh on the backswing, yeah. which I don't hear from right. the driver, you know? So it is, it's a backswing difference a little bit. Remember that thing we talked about, about control and the governor? Yeah, right. You know, what we're doing is taking the governor off, but we're also adding resistance. Your body's bracing, getting ready for an impact. Beautiful. All right. So close. That, that looks like a similar swing. I want a faster backswing. Yeah. But the transition needs the, to, not, to not be like quick and snappy. Exactly. You know? That's why you have the, the faster the backswing, the more time you have in transition, okay. so to speak. Mm -hmm. Just take your time up there. Oh, I killed that ball. That was a beautiful ball flight. All right, That's let's safe. see what that is. I hit that pretty damn good. 166, good club okay. head speed. Yeah, that was a big carry. What was that? 292 on the fly and the cold. Yeah, let's build on that. Now you're talking. Yeah, those are your best numbers as far as carry and distance, especially the wind is what? Uh, right to left? Uh -huh. Yeah, not really doing much and it's 48 degrees. Ooh, how was it? It was pretty good. Not quite as athletic feeling as I wanted to feel. 
160. Ooh, that was a big club head speed. 164 on okay. the ball. So you're right there on the club head speed. Like you said, you just need to, let's find that golf ball. That was a beautiful, look at the ball flight on that. That is just down Main Street. Hit it really well. That's nice. 163. Yeah. Good. That's pretty loud, isn't it? Good. Yeah, pop it, get a little further. Yeah, let it go all the way to the back. It'll pop on its own. Okay. You don't have to stop. Yes, yes. That's beautiful. Now, do one, one hand, walk off feel. Yep. It's more of a range of motion thing than a speed This is more of a range of motion thing than a speed thing. Get your spiral line going. Yep. You didn't do that right. Get it up there. Let it reset. Yeah, now go the other way. Yeah. That's it. Come out here. Yeah. Run, skip. Oh, okay. Remember what we do on these drills. We start kind of softly. Like this? Yep. And then? Yes. First one, make it kind of, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yep. Good. Try and get that plane dead vertical, or horizontal. Yeah. Dead horizontal there. Whoops. Love yep. It. There. What did it take to do that? You had to brace, right? Yeah, and I really you had to, you had to sure land. Had balance, you yeah. had to land and brace. If you don't land and brace, you're not not happening. There you go. Now, let's do a few of these just to see what happens. So about a three quarter back and through. Yeah. Yep. One more. You should be feeling pretty athletic at this yeah, point. You uh -huh. feel good, right? Yeah. All right. Let's see it. Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just crushed. Look at this flight on that. Amazing flight. 167.2. Let's build. That was a good club head speed. That You're going to do it. What was the club head speed? 115. That was phenomenal. Okay. That was impressive, huh? Yeah, kind of a mix of things. Yeah. yeah mix of some of the different tools throughout the different tools. Yeah. <clears throat> God, another one just smoked. Yeah, it was really good though. You're just hitting those right down the pipe. 116, 163. So it looked like it was a. Yeah, well, at least we're back up to that new normal. Yeah, you're at the new normal. Look, did that float a little on you? It looked a little floaty. It's really just all about the center of the face. It is. It's, uh, and this is where, you know, I always give my students this analogy. If you're used to driving a Mack truck uh -huh. and you get in a Ferrari, yeah. it feels a little different. Oof. Oh, close. Was that center or toey? Yeah, it's pretty close. 168, 115.6, 322. You're building right there. What's 322? That's the total distance. Damn. Did I have enough to clear the bunker on the second hole? You didn't have enough to clear the bunker on the second hole, but you know what? It was 293.4, so you were flying into the face of that bunker. So maybe I could have skipped that. You could have, yeah. Man, that is phenomenal. That's two in a row at a very high speed. Yeah. Another roasted, a little left, but I think it's another big speed. Want to catch the left side of the grid? 167. Okay. You're right. You're at a new normal right oh, so there. You and you know what? These you can see, see impact there? Yeah. So you just got to two miles an hour, yeah, yeah, right? So yeah, yeah, no, no three. Yeah. So look, oh, okay. you've got the club head speed big time. Um, you just need to keep building on this. You got a whole new normal going. Before, we didn't get this many in a row. Try yeah, take that with you. Yeah. Here, get a ball teed up. Yeah. Whoops. Remember with that device, hey, and also, don't, okay, so you're stopping about halfway. I want it to pop halfway, but you take it to the top. Yes, land it. 
Do it again. When you land, that's your pressure move. Uh -huh. Because yeah. when you land it, your arm's going to be where in the swing, right? Yeah, like neck high. Yes. Yeah. You got the feel? Okay. Okay, let's see it. That's got it. Is that solid? Better, yeah. Oh man, that is. Look how straight oh, that is. Dead straight. It's just low in the face. I can see where my mark oh, is. Oh yeah, that's see, why. See, here's my. There's your mark. Yeah. Clean that face off. You're, you know what though? You are now. Every ball is mid 160s. I am to the ball. It went just a hair right. You can see it on oh, the play shit. field. I am so low. You know why? A lot of what we do, 160, God, 117 club, 165. The reason you're a little on the face is yeah. a lot of what I teach uh -huh. and do is about angle of attack. You've got a whole new angle of attack. So uh -huh. you're getting way up here. You're getting way up. So yeah, tee it up a little bit. All right, do you want to take another, let's take another little mini break and do a couple like of speed drill break, yeah. yeah, drill break. Okay. Because I think you're, you've got a whole new normal. Okay. But, um, okay. Remember, you're going to huge brace. As you land that left foot, it's a huge break core brace. Yeah. Don't let that thing wobble you. Yes. Do you feel the difference? Uh -huh. Boom. Very good. Very good. Yep. Let's see the lag whooshier. Nice. All right. You're ready. You're ready. One sixty-eight point five on a one eighteen. That was your best club head speed. Okay, good. That's incredible. Okay, and yeah, it, it shot up on you. Let's let's bring that down a little. One sixty-eight point five. Yeah, I think I think we found a little routine for you there. That's getting some nice results right there. That was your biggest club head speed you put up. It's got one seventy written all of it. Don't whiff it though. Don't have it too far away from you that you miss it. Yeah. Okay. It didn't really catch it. Oh, that's all right. The ball, I can tell. Now, just same feel. All right. Same feel. Oh, I hit it. You did. Dead straight. Little draw. Was it solid? It was. I mean, it's not in the total hottest part of the face, though. But oh, 172 oh, yeah, yeah. on a 118. Three, hey, guess what you would have carried? What? The bunker. Oh, good. 302. No, no, 302. I would have made it. Look at two, these numbers right here. Yards. Yes. Holy shit. So you did the speed ball right before that. By the way, here debunks the, you're going to hit it crooked. Look at your face to path number. Zero. Zero. Look club. at your club path. Basically zero. With, and what was the face to path? Oh, it was zero. Zero. Yeah, yeah. So with the wind, it was like a, a dead straight wind draw. It was a dead straight wind draw. Hey. Oh my God. All right, 172. And we're going to, we'll, we'll take a screenshot of the, those numbers. All right. Big, <laughs> excellent trip. Yep. Thanks, John. Everything. All the uh, power tools. So basically, what John was telling me in the car, the thing about this speed training is it's all brand new. It's, it's all, still it's all, it's like, not it's like yet. We're putting three it months old. And uh, it's all, it's all being put together now, but also like you kind of need the tools. So <laughs> to make it work, luckily you're a subscriber of Be Better Golf. So you get 20% discount of Organize to celebrate finally getting to 170s after uh, spinning my wheels for a long 172. time. 172, 172 on a big yeah. carry in the cold. Like, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, talk, you gotta talk like a long driver. There's all these variables that are hurting us. <laughs> yeah, right, There's right, all right, these variables right. that are hurting us. Yeah, you yeah. still did it. Not to mention John's negative wave. <laughs> no, very positive, very exciting experience. Yeah. Uh, so go to uh, tourtempo.com and you can see the tools there. Really exciting. John will be uh, back on the channel talking about. We're going to have another video that you guys are definitely going to want to see because it's cool to do it now, but we want it to be sticky. You know, we want the new normal to be in the mid 160s, and every once in a while when I'm angry, 170s. Yeah. All right, boom. Thank you.